Kerbal Space Program is a really nice game, but if you have beefy PC, which can handle much more than just stock ASP game, or you just want to have really nice looking game, then this video is for you. Before we start, I will show you some more cinematic shots from KSP with these mods to show you what you will get. So for today's installation I will be using one awesome mod pack called Andromeda Visual Daydream, which supports the latest game version 1.3 and is extremely easy to install. So if you don't know much about modding KSP, this one will be great for you. First of all, go to the video description and you will find there a link for this mod and everything what you need. So open it up and download the latest version of this mod, which is in this case version 0.3.4. Then you will need to download ground textures. Again, link is in the video description and ignore that warning that this mod is outdated because you will need just textures. Don't worry that this mod was made for game version 1.1.2. After we are done, we can start with the installation. First of all, open up Steam, right click on Kerbal Space Program and from drop down menu choose properties, local files and browse local files. This will open KSP installation directory, but if you have installation folder for some reason somewhere else, just open that and continue. Now open up Andromeda Visual Daydream, which you just downloaded, with WinRAR or something like that, and copy everything from step 1 into KSP installation game data folder like I did on video. Now copy files from step 2, again into game data directory and overwrite anything if Windows will ask you. Now from folder extras, you can choose what do you want to copy, but I recommend to copy everything or at least reflection and skybox, because this folder contains mod texture replacer, which will be needed for ground textures to work. Now I recommend launching the game if it's working and test these mods out and if everything seems to be fine, we can install ground textures by just opening downloaded zip archive and then copy everything into game data folder. Now your game should look much much better. But there are some things which could go wrong with your installation and I will try to show you what you can do with these. First one, ground textures are not showing up. I was having this issue and the solution from mod creator is to upgrade Copernicus mod to version 1.3.0 release 4. I will also put link for this one into video description. And the installation is always same. Copy game data files from mod to game data into your game folder. Second one, how to get rid of these lighting strikes? Go to Boulder CO folder in your game data folder, then clouds and delete astronomers lighting.cfg file. This should fix this issue. Also, if you don't like that halo or glow around the planets, you can also remove surface glow. But if you still have some issues, you will find for sure answer on the forum. KSP community is really helpful and creator of this mod pack called Match Light 2. But if this is still not enough for you, you can also install better textures for stock parts by downloading mod called Stock Part Revamp, which make all stock parts look extremely crispy and sharp. And the last mod, which I will show you today, is Window Shine, which makes solar panels, windows and everything glossy, reflect stuff around it. I really like this one, and I will show you some more images how awesome is that. There are also some other mods, like Real Plume, for better looking flames from the engine or raster probe monitor for nicer looking cockpits with usable displays in it, which you can install if you want to, but I don't want to confuse you too much. Ok guys, I hope I covered everything in this video, but if you have any questions or suggestions, I will be really happy if you leave it in the comment section down below and I will see you next time. Bye!